So if you're watching this video, you probably heard of the motion capture VR mocap system called Glycon. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to take your Glycon FBX recordings and apply those to characters inside of iClone 7. So this is the process I go through to get animations from VR into 3D characters. So once you've recorded your animation inside the VR system, Glycon, you can actually export that as an FBX and bring that directly into the 3D exchange. Now you notice if you try to export this animation out to iClone, there's really not any way of doing that. You can't assign this FBX animation to a character directly inside of iClone. And if you add it, it just comes in as a skeleton. Um, with its own movements. Now there's probably ways to strip the motion and apply that motion to another one, but I'm going to show you a little bit easier way. So I have character in here and then I'm going to go to Mixamo and download the Xbot FBX character. So we'll just download this character and FBX T-Pose, download this FBX and we'll take this Xbox and we will drag this directly into 3D Exchange. Import the animation. So that'll import, it'll convert that to an iClone um, compatible character. So now you've got this 3D character and you've got some, uh, some, some useless basically animation. So we want to bring our animation that we brought from uh, from the VR Glycon and we want to press import and import that Glycon FBX file. So when we add this into our current character and you can change the FBX setting samples per second, I just kept it at this, import that, then it'll be listed in your animation library here. And if you double click that, you'll see that it will um, move exactly like the animation that you exported. So I was sitting down in this animation, kind of pointing and move my hands around. The cool thing about this now is that you've got this animation applied to this Xbox character from uh, Mixamo and allows you now to apply this directly to a character inside of iClone. So you select your character and we'll just pan around here we'll go back to this and select the animation that you want and say apply to iClone and that takes that animation and applies that to this character here you can see that she's already a little bit adjusted and I'm gonna zoom to a different position here because this is kind of a weird view all right so we'll uh, zoom in a little bit to her face and you can see she's already got some of the hand gestures that I created inside of Glycon and they're working with her. They're interfacing a little bit differently than they would with the Xbot. You can see it's kind of clashing. So I'm going to go into edit, um, edit motion layer, and I'm going to select her wrist and kind of pull that further away from her body. That way it'll clear her uh, skin, look a little bit more natural. It's still keeping all the animation. It's just basically changing the relative point of that one animation so you press W and you can change from rotation to move here and, um, and just kind of readjust these arms a little bit all right that looks pretty good now if I scrub through you can see that she's got the uh, it's clear of her body and looks more normal so I'll turn this off here the bones will disappear and now you can uh, play your animation. So pretty easy. You just got the key is downloading that Mixamo Xbox character. That's the one that um, iClone has basically built into the system in 3D Exchange in order to apply that um, FBX animation to. So hope you uh, found this of value and I look forward to making more videos surrounding all this animation, iClone, character creator stuff. So subscribe if you're not already. Thanks. See you in the next video.